Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today I am working solo. I left baby at home with my wife. Uh, I just want to do a short little video because um, I don't usually do containers. Well, I should say that I don't do containers at all because I have my own dry van. But today I'm doing containers only because it's uh, peak season for UPAs. So they pay pretty good, uh, you know. But this is the reason why I don't do containers, you know, because I'm here at a yard in, uh, I guess they call it the Morgan Yard on 47th and Morgan. And the thing with containers is that there's a bunch of them. And you gotta search for them. I mean, I know that other yards like Norfolk, Southern here on uh, 47th Street, it's organized, you know, but people that go there daily, they know what they're doing. And for someone like me that I've probably been to these yards a handful of times, it's harder. Uh, so like right now, I'm trying to look to this box. And I mean, this yard is not that big, but still you know you got to go literally around because that's what the guys say you know go find your box and come back around and we'll we'll check you out so that's exactly what I'm doing I gotta uh, look for my box and then some of these boxes I don't know if you guys can't see them but look at that look at how close these boxes are parked next to each other that's like pretty pretty no no but it is what it is like I said I, I'm only doing these right now because it pays good and the peak season only goes from like November till maybe the first week or second week of of January and then we go back to just normal dry van which that's my thing I don't gotta deal with the rail yards and all that stuff but yeah guys just want to share this little um, I guess information with you guys if you guys like um, rail yards you know let me know if you guys prefer doing the dry van as well just let me know what are your uh, ins and outs about what you guys run you know guys I actually thought this yard was small but no this freaking yard literally keeps going and going and it's making me mad that this yard is nasty like there's holes well not holes but holes and bumps and this yard is just nasty and we we don't even have snow yet so i can just imagine how it's going to be when there's snow out here um there's a lot more containers back there but i'm not even going to try and look for it over there i'm hoping it's it's going to be in this spot that i didn't check yet so hopefully I can find it here because I almost got stuck out up there because of a bunch of dirt that they literally just throw in there and this is the reason why I don't like containers. Containers is not my thing. It's literally like a bumpy road, bumpy ride. It literally is horrible. So um, I want to say I've been here about maybe five to ten minutes already looking for this box. EMHU276311. That's the box we're looking for. And that's the bad thing about this yard, I guess. You know, they should have it organized or at least know where they put it because I don't see it around here. So, I'm going to keep on looking for it. Hopefully, I can find it here somewhere. 271 the MHU. Yeah, because I don't see it around here, but I'm probably going to go. Just going to keep looking for it. All right, guys. Finally. We found it. It's this one right here. EMHU 
276-311. So we are gonna flash it with our lights, put the baby on reverse, and black out here they don't even afford to put lights uh, so you gotta go with your own tractor light they don't even do that for us nasty ass yard like super bumpy like worse than uh, the American Eagle um, from Six Flags Great America I call that ride the headache because that's all I gave whenever I used to get on it but yeah thankfully we found it i didn't spend that much time here maybe about 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes but um should be good now hooking up to it and we're hooked let's do the tug test okay we are good let's just go get our connections on Alrighty guys, so here it is, EMHU 276311, um, but yeah I do have the really bright lights, LED lights, but um, but yeah guys I'm gonna uh, hook up to it, get my lines, put my landing gears up, check my tires and stuff, um, like I said you know it's really 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 dark out here because there's literally no lights look i'm just gonna do a 360. there's where my truck is lighting that's my ugly face you see nothing in the background other than my truck lighting out here so ups they make millions of dollars they should at least put lights out here and fix the freaking road look at that let's see if my truck can pick up all this well you can't really see it but Trust me when I say it's a bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road. You know guys, another sucky thing about containers is that when people drop the containers, man, they drop them so freaking low. Check that out. If you go back, you're gonna scrape your tires. That's a bad thing. These guys probably do it or maybe not. Thing is, I gotta try and lift these landing gears up now. And it's a pain in the butt because these are freaking heavy. I already lowered my airbags down and it's still not gonna do it because of the tires. Ay, ay, ay. And this right here, guys, is a UPS um, drop location in, uh, where are we right now? Bedford Park CSI. Basically the end of my shift here. The good thing with the UPS is they fully do you. Um, well, they contract us for a 10 hour shift. I started at, at uh, 5.30 p.m. last night. It's already 3.30 in the morning. So basically it's the end of my shift. Um, from Hodgkin's. Illinois they gave me this uh, last short run to uh, Worth, Illinois um, so from here I'm just gonna head home which I'm not too far from but I should be home maybe around 4 15 gonna get some rest um, but yeah guys it wasn't too bad. I feel like they, they don't overwork you in here. But the hours kind of suck. You know, but I kind of rather do work at night because there's less traffic. 
than in the daytime. But there's nothing better than, you know, sleeping at the time that you're supposed to be sleeping, like during the nighttime hours. But again, it's only temporary. It's not every day. Sorry about that, guys. But that's what happened today. And I do miss baby. I miss my wife as well, but we'll be okay. I'll see them shortly. And you guys, uh, hope you guys like this little short video. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.